because the American people have a choice to make in the next 20 months. And the stakes could not be higher. And the choice could not be clearer. It's a choice between more growth, prosperity, and opportunity for every American or a return and an acceleration to the direction and the failed economic policies of the past. It's increasingly obvious in the public debate. It's a choice between freedom and socialism. Today, many leading Democrats openly advocate an economic system that has impoverished millions around the world. Under the guise of Medicare for all and a Green New Deal, Democrats are embracing the same tired economic theories that have impoverished nations and stifled the liberties of millions. What they're actually offering is just more of the same. More taxes, more spending, more government, and less freedom. So let me say from my heart, to all my fellow Americans gathered in this room, to all of you living the American dream, it was freedom, not socialism, that gave us the most prosperous economy in the history of the world. It was freedom, not socialism, that ended slavery, won two world wars, and stands today as a beacon of hope in the world. It was freedom, not socialism, that's moving us beyond the prejudices of the past to create a more perfect union for every American, regardless of race or creed or color, and it was freedom not socialism. It gave us the highest quality of life, the cleanest environment on earth, and has improved the health and well-being of millions around the world. You know, the truth is what Medicare for all really means is quality health care for none. <laughs> and the only thing green about the so-called Green New Deal is how much green it's going to cost taxpayers and job creators if they ever pass it into law. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Margaret Thatcher probably said it best. The trouble with socialism is you eventually run out of other people's money. Yeah. <laughs> the president said it very well in that State of the Union address, though. He said America was founded on liberty and independence, not on government coercion, domination, and control. The moment America becomes a socialist country is the moment America ceases to be America. So I say to all of you, job creators, entrepreneurs, people living the American dream and advancing it all across this country for the sake of our jobs, for the sake of our prosperity, for the sake of that American dream. All of us need to say, as the president has said, with one voice, America will never be a socialist country. Thank you.